Welcome back to Los Angeles. I'm Adam Housley, and you're watching Tech Take. And if you watch the show over the course of the last year especially, you'll know we've talked about drones many times. And one of the topics when we talk about drones is how is the FAA going to deal with this? And joining us live now from a conference in Paris, even though they're based in San Francisco, is Gabriel Dobbs. He's head of policy at Skycatch. You can find them on Twitter, at Skycatch, as well as on Skycatch.com. Gabriel, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, I know that four companies that came out yesterday won approval by the FAA to fly commercially uh, in the U.S. It's a big deal, of course. There's a lot of people who have been saying that Hollywood was the only one to get a pass so far, and it seems like the FAA is starting to move forward in other areas. Yeah, this is a fantastic sign uh, for Skycash and for uh, all the players in the commercial UAV industry. So we just received the first approval to fly on construction sites in the United States, so it's, it's really a historic day for us. How tough was the battle? How long? I mean, uh, I've seen, just so you know, here in Los Angeles, a couple of months ago, there was a guy next door to me flying a drone above my neighbor's house looking at his roof. And I didn't, you know, knowing the FAA situation, I, I, I asked him if he had approval for that. And, of course, he wouldn't answer and left. But I know there's been a lot of people using them, not necessarily legally. Um, how big of a battle has it been for you guys to follow the rules and to get this approval? Sure. Well, we've actually been working with the FAA um, for almost two years now, and uh, they've, they've been quite good at communicating with us uh, that their priorities are really safety. And, and for us, it's Skycash. Skycash safety is one of our priorities as well. So, uh, you know, hobbyists have been flying drones in the United States in the tens and hundreds of thousands now going into this year. But opening up the commercial market obviously is a huge opportunity. Uh, so, the FAA granting these additional exemptions is a great sign for us, um, and we think that a lot of people will be following our lead and, and filing for these exemptions in the next year. Uh, after that, the FAA is actually coming out with a more streamlined process with a, with a, a rule that will be put in place um, later next year, and we'll find out more about that rule in January. So now, how do you guys work? You're one of four companies that got the approval. Do you guys basically rent your services to a construction site or company? Uh, for example, do you like sell your services as, as would somebody maybe who puts on a roof, a roofer or a plumber, that kind of thing, where you come out and you're, the, you're basically the sky videographer, sky photographer? Is that how it works with you guys? Actually, our customers, which are uh, very large construction companies, oil and gas companies, agriculture companies, mining companies, are the operators of the UAV. Uh, so we're working with large players in each of those industries. We've actually filed five exemptions already. That's more than uh, any other company out there um, for our customers to actually use the SkyCatch system. So we go on site, we help with training, um, but we're going to see this, this commercial market explode in the United States in the next year, which we're really excited about. Uh, just to give so you an you idea of some of the this. people we're working with, uh, Bechtel is, is one of our clients. Uh, Chevron is, is one of our clients. So you're going to see really large companies uh, using the SkyCatch system to save a ton of time, money um, on, on their industrial work sites, which we're really excited about. So you guys sell the technology and the training so they can have their own individual basically run the SkyCatch system to be able to monitor uh, construction from above. That's right. The UAV is just a tool to collect data, and we actually focus on data analysis and, you know, what you do uh, with these maps and models that, that our UAV is creating. So we, we lease our hardware out, but the data is the end product, and that's what people care about is getting answers to the questions that they need. So uh, when you got the approval from the FAA, I guess my question is, I know there's a lot of different people that had, had a lot of different ways that working with the FAA. Again, you were the, one of the first four companies to be able to do this outside of Hollywood. Do you have to file a, a flight plan with the FAA? Do you have to notify them that you have a drone going up? I mean, how does this work uh, at construction sites? Obviously, you're not going to be at, at extremely high altitudes, but still you may be high enough that, that it could get in the way of a helicopter. Or, I mean, how does it work? How do you guys do this? Sure. Well, our exemption um, is under 400 feet, and that, that's generally the, the line that the FAA has, has used for hobbyists as well. Um, the exemption is nationwide, which is really great because it gives us flexibility to work on construction sites and other industrial sites around the country. Uh, but you do work with uh, local air traffic control. Uh, if you're close to an airport, you need to notify them, and generally the FAA will always be informed of, of our operations. All right, Gabriel Dobbs, uh, 
VP, or sorry, head of policy at Skycatch. I know you're coming to us from, from uh, Paris where there's a big conference going on. I appreciate you taking the time uh, via Skype. You can find out more at skycatch.com. You also can catch them on Twitter, at Skycatch, one of the first four companies to get approval uh, from the FAA outside of Hollywood to be able to fly drones commercially in the U.S. We appreciate you coming on. We're obviously going to continue to monitor this story. It's a big story, as you mentioned. A lot of hobbyists already using drones, and uh, it's becoming more and more uh, possible now for business owners to do the same thing, and we'll, I'm sure we'll check in with you again. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me on today, Adam. All right. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and you're watching Tech Tech.